Hello everyone, today we're going to see how we can connect our VAPI assistant to a white label dashboard with conversations, with analytics, with the ability to onboard your own clients, let them access exactly what you want, and also monitor your VAPI assistant, cost and minutes, and all of the relevant information. You can set up the whole integration in seconds. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, we're going to head to voiceglow.org, and then uh, we're going to create an account. Uh, of course, here choose your uh, nearest location because this uh, can actually affect uh, the speed of uh, the whole integration. All right, so once we're in, we're going to head to the credentials tab, and then these are the keys that we need from VAPI's end for the integration to function. So we're going to head to VAPI, and then uh, we're going to head to profile, uh, and then API keys, and then we need the public API key, paste it here then also the, the private API key. All right, so these are the main ones that we need. The rest is uh, advanced. If you want to add, uh, if you have these here, you would actually need to add, it, add them here as well. And then once that is done, we're going to create a new agent. Uh, let's just call that VAPI demo and create. All right, so as you can see, this has created an agent within VoiceGlow. This is actually a text agent. You can connect it to multiple channels as well, not just uh, uh, VAPI. You can have like a single knowledge base as well. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to connect VAPI for now. Uh, so here is the, uh, the, the VAPI setup. We'll first go to the channels, and then you go to voice setup. And then we will need the assistant of uh, the ID of our assistant. Now we'll go to the assistant uh, on VAPI's end. Uh, and then we'll just copy this ID here and then paste it here. All right, now once that's done, we click save. And now it should work without any issues. But of course, to show on the on the web widget, we need to enable this and then have a pop-up message. Hi. Uh, All right, now let's say save. And then if you go to the overview panel again, you, you can see now this phone icon. If I press on that, now I can actually talk to the VAPI assistant within the web widget, in addition to also texting. Hi, I am your virtual assistant. How can I help you today? Hello, what can you do? Hello, how can I assist you today? All right, Hello. OK, now this is just a demo to see if everything is working fine. If I head to the conversations now and then head to this, it should now show this uh, conversation that we just had with uh, the assistant, and as you can see, this is actually the transcript. Hi, I am your virtual assistant. How can I help you today? Hello? How, How can I assist you today? Hello? I'm your nice. Pretty good. Now all is working fine. Right now, everything looks to be working fine. If you also go here to the analytics, you can actually see all the VAPI and uh, on the assistance analytics in addition to the VAPI analytics as well. So here, uh, of course, as you, as, as you use this assistant more, this is going to be a little bit uh, more uh, so far, like because this is like a brand new agent, it shows that we have not used anything basically. But as you, as you use this more, uh, and also on any type of uh, channel, not just on the web, but also if you connect that assistant, like on VAPI, if you have like uh, a phone number that is connected to the assistant, it should also work on the analytics here and also on the conversations. So it's connected to the whole VAPI system, uh, not just the web widget here. Now, as a bonus, let's say that you have some kind of a, a document that you want to add to your VAPI assistant, but also to your text-based agent. You can do that only once on VoiceGlow. You don't, you don't need to add it on VAPI's end as well. You just add sources, just add uh, org. All right, let's add this URL. Now, this is actually going to scrape uh, any type of website. It is AI optimized so that it can understand images and videos as well. Uh, it can also, uh, if you're pretty advanced with this web development stuff, it can actually understand uh, web apps as well. All right, so now this has been indexed. As you can see, this is just our landing page. Uh, if I go here, and then let's let's test uh, the KB real quick on text. What is VoiceGlow? 
Right, pretty cool. Now this is the UI engine that I told you about. This can actually render cards, images, and a whole bunch of other stuff. This can actually render buttons as well, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, all of that, all of these images came from the website that we just scraped here. Uh, you can actually see the images, URLs, and all of that. Now let's see on VAPI if this has also been indexed correctly. Uh, if we go to the files and refresh that, should have been able to see a file here, but it doesn't show. This is because we didn't enable this option here. Sync on save. Now, I don't actually recommend enabling this option because this will also uh, override other uh, fields like the initial message and the prompts. So, what I suggest is to just press on this button and set sync KB with, uh, with VAPI, and this is just going to sync all the files that you have on uh, the KB here with VAPI. So, if I go back and refresh, this should do should in theory show all of the files and as you can see this is the exact same uh, name uh, and of course it doesn't re-add or anything if I if I delete that and then resync it should uh, all be working fine all right so if I go back again and then try to talk to the AI agent let's see if it's actually uh, understands the context of the KB document hi I am your virtual assistant how can I help you today hello can you tell me more about voice glow all right, can I can I connect my voice glow assistant to WhatsApp? Yes, you can connect your voice assistant to WhatsApp. The platform supports various channels, including WhatsApp, allowing you to deploy your agent and interact with users seamlessly. Nice. What what else channels can I uh, deploy my uh, voice glow assistant to? You can deploy your voice assistant on various instant channels such as web, WhatsApp, Discord, Google Chat, and more. Nice, me too. Thank you. You're welcome. Any more questions? All right, now as you can see, the, it, it, it does show some hiccups here and there, like uh, the transcriptions are not entirely accurate, but I believe if, if I edit the config a little bit on that assistant here, it should be like the transcriber. I believe we should we can, we can get it to be uh, much better. Uh, but of course, the main idea is that you can now see all of the compositions from here. You can see the transcript. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit uh, of time to load. No, it's pretty good. And of course, all of the information that it gave me is actually true. If I go to our landing page that we uh, use this for, uh, actually, let me open another tab. It did actually uh, retrieve all of the uh, information from this landing page. Uh, we do support, we do actually support three channels, including WhatsApp, Google Chat, and uh, Discord, as you can see here. It actually scraped this right here. Now, on top of all of that, let's say you have a client that you want to show this whole dashboard for, but you don't want the, like this logo to show. Now, this is exactly why we created VoiceLow. It's to help, help agencies to uh, deliver their AI services, uh, specifically conversational AI services, uh, and have like a white label dashboard, have analytics, have all of that uh, with your custom branding. You can go here and add a custom domain or a subdomain if you'd like. And, and by default, you can change the whole, the, and by default, you can change uh, the theme, you can change uh, your domain, even the email for uh, various uh, notifications. You can also white label the email. All right, so let's actually try to set up our custom dashboard with the custom branding and all of that. Uh, let's just have Voiceflow Voice Flow Admin. Let's see this subdomain. All right, and within seconds, we have now added our custom domain. As you can see, it should now work fine. Uh, something very important, uh, you can't actually right now, we can't uh, like log in on the same uh, browser. It causes some issues. Uh, so a very simple solution is to just take this domain here and have a new browser and open this here and it should work without any issues so as you can see now it shows a login dashboard all right so uh, of course we it's not going to work with 
anything basically because we haven't added any clients yet. So let's actually go to the clients tab now and let's create a new client. Let's just uh, demo that client. All right. Let's add that. And as you can see, now we have our uh, client, which is basically an organization. You can add multiple users to this uh, client, not only one. Uh, so let's say they have a team uh, or something like that. Uh, this is pretty handy. So let's also just add this uh, test user, test uh, two, three, four, five at voice low or anything really. And let's just have test one, two, three. And let's give access to all the pages here. Uh, of course, it's not recommended that you give all of that, like let's say you, you, your KB is like a little bit advanced, you don't want your client to uh, to have access to the KB, you just disable that and it shouldn't uh, show. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to show everything. And uh, yeah, let's add the user. And now if I try to log in with this and that, it should now work. But as you can see, it doesn't show anything because we haven't actually added any uh, clients, uh, any widgets, sorry, to that client. So let's just drag this here. As you can see, you can actually have multiple agents to multiple clients. Uh, but for this tutorial, we have added this uh, widget to that client. If I refresh now, it should now show that I'm connected to this uh, assistant. And as you can see, this is not voice glows. Uh, I mean, this is our logo, but you can easily, in seconds, change this logo to anything that you want in the theme. You can even change the colors of the whole, let's say I want this dark green. You can just save that like, like this. And then let's say I want like this font name instead of uh, our default. Uh, I also want to change our logo. Let's take this lovely cat. All right, now let's save. And if I go back, it should now show all of these uh, changes. And here you go. Now this is our new font, our logo here. And as you can see, it's completely uh, white labeled. This whole URL, of course, it can be your custom domain. Uh, and it works exactly as you'd expect, uh, very similar to the dashboard. You can even have these uh, links on the top as well. Now let's say you want to change uh, like the layout for this client, or let's say you want to change the language of the of the dashboard. All, all of that is much more possible. Let's say you want to change. Uh, let's actually just change the the layout of the dashboard real quick. Uh, let's enable this, all right? And actually, let's change the language as well of this uh, organization. Let's, let's change that to French, then. Let's see if everything is working fine. Right, as you can see, it has changed the, the, the layout of the dashboard. It, ha it has also changed all of the uh, most, of course, it's not perfect yet, like some, uh, there will be some English here and there, but most of the dashboard is now uh, in your language. It supports any language you could think of. Uh, so yeah, this was a quick demo to how to connect your whole uh, dashboard and have it white labeled in seconds. Great, so uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. I uh, hope that this has helped you and uh, have a good day.